Hello friends, it's Christine Vicente with Queen City Stamp Art and I'm back this week with another clean and simple card. We're going to be making a cute little valentine using the Friendly Gnome stamp set today. But before we get into that, I just wanted to mention that um, I know most of you who watch my channel know that Celebration is well underway. This little sale from Stampin' Up! runs until February 28th and um, it's basically a gift with purchase, so if you spend $50, you get to pick something free out of the Celebration flyer. Um, see, I just wanted to let you know quickly that Stampin' Up! has added a, a bunch of new selections for the uh, $50 category especially. Um, there is one bundle that you can get for free with a $100 order, but they've added nine new items for the $50 level. So these are all like normal products that are in our catalog and they've made them free with a $50 purchase. So I will link to this flyer in the description of the video so you can have a closer look at that if you're interested. And we'll get on with the card making. So we're going to be using the Friendly Gnomes stamp set. This is the brand new Gnomes stamp set that's in the Spring Mini Catalog. Um, many of you I know loved the uh, Kindest Gnomes stamp set that was in the Holiday Catalog. And this one, too, works with the same die set. So these three little gnomes will be cut out in this set with the um, dies from the, the gnome dies, basically. Um, so that's great that we've got some coordination there. And this one has some spring and birthday sentiments, so it's just really, really cute. So we're going to use this today to create a little valentine. We're also going to be using um, some other products. We're going to be using this Country Gingham 6x6 uh, designer series paper, and I'm sorry for the mess I just made, good grief, all these little pieces and parts. Um, so we're going to be using some of this paper today on the actual card design. This gingham paper is so sweet, and um, if you, I'm sure you've probably seen it, everyone's using it right now. It's so adorable, um, and it's perfect scale for a clean and simple card. I like it for card making anyway because it is such a cute little scale. Um, it's just great for a card front and a very subtle, you know, the patterns are very subtle. We're also going to be using a little layer of um, uh, embossed, a little embossed layer using the Timber 3D embossing folder. I feel like the gnomes and wood go really well together, so we're going to be using the wood grain. And then I've got a couple of other little, I pulled out some of my basics. So I've got my stylish shapes dies. We're going to use this little banner shape for the sentiment, and then I've got a, a layer of vellum that I cut with a scallop circle from the layering circles dies. And then the last thing I pulled out of my stash were some hearts from the teacup dies. They have a couple of different size hearts, and those work really great on Valentine cards. So let's go ahead and put this little card together. Let's do a little stamping first. I'm gonna pull out my Memento Black ink pad, because we're, we're gonna be coloring with the blends markers. And I'm going to ink up the gnome that has the heart in his hand. Just like that. And then I'm going to pull out my blends markers. And we're going to do a little bit of quick, quick coloring. So I'm going to start with his face. And I'm going to use the light petal pink for his face. And this little guy colors up very, very quickly. This will not take any time at all. So I'm gonna color his nose, and then I'm gonna bring a little bit of the color down here around his little face. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna leave his beard white, but I'm going to use some light crumb cake, um, my light crumb cake marker, just to highlight some of the little streaks in his beard. They put little shade marks on the, the actual design, and so I'm just gonna do that. Just add some little marks there. And then I'm going to use the dark crumb cake to color in his, his shoes. Very quick, easy coloring with him. They're so small and so adorable. Okay, so for his hands, I'm also going to use the light petal pink. And then for his hat, I'm going to use some balmy blue. So I'm going to start with the dark. And I'm just going to add a little bit of dark balmy blue, just a little along the edges here. 
mm, over here where it would be like the darkest probably. And then I'm going to come in with the light balmy blue marker and just fill that in. Kind of blend out the edges here. I'm sorry about the camera shake. And I'm going to color his shirt in balmy blue also. So I'm going to add a layer of light blue. And then I'm going to go in with the dark. Just to give it a little bit more contrast. Like that. And then for the heart, I'm going to use two colors. I'm going to use light cherry cobbler. And I'm going to start by adding a little bit of the, the cherry cobbler by his hand and down to the point and then up a little bit like that. And then I'm going to come in with light calypso coral and whoops, and finish. I'm just going to kind of blend that out along the edge here. and then kind of color up. There we go, like that. And then the coup de gras, I think, for this is adding a little bit of Winkastella to the heart because it just really adds such a beautiful sparkle and elevates that heart a bit. The whole project looks more fancy when you add a little Winkastella. So I'm just going to paint that on over top of the color there, just like that. And now it's all sparkly and nice. I noticed that his nose is a little bit pale, so I'm going to add a little bit of dark petal pink to his face like that. And that should do it. So there's my cute little gnome. And now I'm going to take my... Um, the little die from the set and I'm going to die cut him out. Okay, and here he is, perfect. So now we're gonna finish putting the card together. So I've got a basic white base card here and I'm gonna use my bone folder, get a nice crisp fold on this. And then I'm gonna add a few different layers so we'll start with this little gingham layer in balmy blue. And then we'll layer up these two pieces. So I've got two pieces of basic white. One is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I cut a three by four layer. And this is the one that I embossed with the uh, the wood grain, that 3D timber embossing folder. And so for these, I'm just going to add some liquid adhesive to the back here and glue them right together. And by adding that white on white layer, you get this white mat that really finishes that panel. I could have just added the, the layer that was embossed to the card base, but I, I like how that little frame around the edge makes it look more finished. And so we're going to add a few dimensionals here to pop this layer up. That's what makes handmade cards so special is all that dimension. And then I'm going to just center this panel in the front of the card. Like that. Then I'm bringing in a little piece of vellum. So I cut a little vellum scallop circle. And this is going to act as a little platform for our gnome. So I'm just going to add some adhesive to the back here and add that, that piece right here to the card front. Then um, we're gonna stamp the Love You sentiment. In fact, I'm gonna do a little bit more stamping here. So let's open up the card. I'm gonna stamp the inside and I'm gonna start by stamping the inside sentiment. There's no one better than you.
And then I have this little bird from the stamp set that I'm going to put in here too. And then I'll take the Love You and I'm going to add it to this little strip from the Stylet Shapes. This little stitched banner, really cute. That little Love You fits perfect on there for the front of the card. And now for this little bird, I'm going to color him in with um, dark petal pink, but I'm going to add a little bit of the light coral. So I'm just going to color in his tail and bring that color up onto his chest a little bit and his beak. And then I'm going to finish coloring him in with the dark petal pink. Just like that. And that's a cute little inside. In fact, I think I'll give him a little bit of ground to stand on too. Just like that with my light crumb cake marker. There we go. So that's the inside and now we have the outside too. So let's finish this up. So I'm gonna add some dimensional adhesive to the gnome and pop him up off the card front. Right here on that little circle. And then we're gonna add some dimensional to, some mini dimensionals to the, the banner. going to add two back here. And then we'll position this right over the front of the gnome's hand like that. And then these little hearts will go next. I'm going to add some little, a little dot of adhesive to a couple of them. I'm not going to use all three. I'll just use a couple. And I'm going to get my tweezers these to the card front. Just like that. And then to finish this off, I'm just going to add a little piece of linen thread. You could use white thread here or black thread also, whatever you prefer, but I'm going to use the linen thread. I like the natural look of this on the gnome cards. I'm just going to put this on a glue dot. Just like that. That'll finish it off. And so here we've got our clean and simple card for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to probably give this to my husband for Valentine's Day, actually. And um, I really feel like that wink of Stella adds such a nice little shine to the heart. Very, very cute. So I hope you enjoyed the project for today, and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.